Hello and good evening. So you can see I'm just beginning to farm the herbs, uh, sorry, the seeds that I planted earlier. And this is the first bunch of the sunchokes. And these are giving me some strength XP, as you can see. Uh, the animation's quite funny. You sort of pull them out of the ground and then you get some strength XP as well as the farming XP, which is quite nice. Uh, unfortunately, the the plant that I planted in the flower bush there that I can't actually remember the name of right now died, so that's a bit of a shame. I'm just going to teleport over onto Catherby now, and then we can see how the rest of the crops have done. I am actually just recording this over the top of the video I recorded earlier, so I'll just have to fill in the time. Um, do feel free not to necessarily watch the video unless you want to see the animations of some of the plants. Uh, now I'm moving on to the fly traps. These look absolutely crazy. Um, so I'm harvesting the fly traps, and that <laughs> you sort of I don't really know what to describe you do there. You sort of your hand goes into the middle of the plant uh, and you get the the fruits. Um, I actually got the seeds back because I have the scroll of life uh, from Dungeoneering, and that gave me some thieving XP there. Um, again, it's very dependent on your level. Uh, I just now teleported to the Ectifunctus. Um, if you're a regular farmer and do herb runs, this is an absolute must. Otherwise, it's a complete ball ache to get to this herb bed. Um, I, I said in an earlier video that I was going to be doing a, a sort of a post-99 farming guide and maybe some other farming guides, so I will include all this information. Uh, now, in this patch, you can see that the snake grass on one of the sides has died, unfortunately. So I'll just clear that out. And then on the other side, uh, it has survived. Uh, now, if memory serves me correctly, I think I get quite a ridiculous amount of snake grass. Um, although on price checking it, I don't think it's anywhere near the amount I paid for the seed. Now, at the moment, this is one thing I will say about this update. Uh, as with every update, the prices are going to be um, pretty astronomical at the moment. And you'll see that later when I have to buy some seeds to do the... Uh, vines at the moment I wouldn't recommend trying to farm either snape grass or potato cactus for money not unless you get the seeds yourself uh, because they are horrendously expensive I think the snape grass seed cost me about five or six K and as you can see here I mean I've got quite lucky in that I have farmed I, I believe around 30 odd snape grass which is great um, and you do sometimes get that. It's the same when you do watermelons. And I will just price check and see how much it is. I can't quite remember. Uh, all those snake grass together are 9.4k. I'm pretty sure I paid more than that for the seed. Now, as the prices come down, then it's going to be a great little money maker, especially for that, that farming patch that you don't really use. Um, but for now, I kind of wouldn't necessarily recommend it. As I say, if you're going to buy the seeds and plant them, uh, for money it's not going to work however uh, I can give you a bit of advice on where to get these seeds from now as you can see uh, in this video in the previous video I decided to go to the GE and just buy them for whatever price they were selling at um, mostly because I wanted to get this video out and I knew it would be uh, you know useful to people but you can basically pickpocket them uh, as we see in the background, that's a dead Barbary bush. That's a shame. Um, you can pickpocket the seeds from elves and basically the highest level characters that you can pickpocket. But paladins and um, heroes don't work at all because I pickpocketed loads of them and it didn't work. Now, you can see in the background here again, this is the wishing well plant that's growing nicely. Um, it looks kind of funky. <laughs> I don't really know what it looks like. It sort of looks like a strike worm coming out of the ground. Now, that, that should be quite on its way to growing, so I hope that doesn't die, especially as the seed cost me about 60k. Um, so I'm just going to move on to the next bed, which I believe is an alkarid for the cactus. Um, I think I have around three or four hours left on... That was a nice yawn. <laughs> I have about three or four hours left on the wishing well plant just to grow there or wishing well bush and i think it's kind of the same for this next bush uh or cactus because i'm going to the the cactus bed in alcarid here 
and this is a potato cactus I've got growing, um, which I think again was nine hours off I remember from my previous video. Doesn't look anything particularly uh, interesting at the moment. It just looks like a bloated cactus, really, quite similar to the the growing phases of the cactus when you plant them in here rather than the actual uh, potato cactus. But they they look quite interesting. So those are the seeds that I've planted thus far, and that's what I managed to achieve really. Um, now, as I said before, I did have some other seeds. One of those is the uh, the prickly pear seed that I've got, which needs to be planted in the cactus bush, as we just saw. But unfortunately, I can't plant both of those. And as I said to you, as to my knowledge, you can only plant one cactus bush. Um, so I've got that to replant, and I just realised that I could go and try and plant the vine uh, thing. Now, the problem with that was, earlier when I tried to buy the seeds, they weren't buying for 100k. Um, and <laughs> at the time, I kind of thought, oh, I don't really want to know. Don't really know if I want to be spending all that kind of money just to make a video, but... Um, my the first video that I released on this kind of seemed to be getting quite a lot of views and I realised that it might be helpful to you guys so I just sort of thought oh screw it, it's only money I'm sure I'll make some more um, so I was going to go to the G and buy four of them which is the amount of seeds that I need for the vine uh, bed which is planted in the hops place but I completely forgot that I couldn't get to the G because my rings of wealth had uh, all ran out. So I'm just refreshing those in the background when I go to the G and make a bit of a fail uh, because I didn't check how many seeds I needed. So I'm just popping to the G now to buy, I can't remember the name, I know it's got vine in it, I'll tell you in a second. It's called... Da, 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 da. What is it? No, oh no, no, I'm not doing that first. I'm buying some Barbary seeds for the ones that I failed on. Um, now, what I'm actually doing here is just displaying the kind of prices that you can expect when you use the Grand Exchange to buy these seeds. So that's a Barbary seed that's buying for 6K at the moment, which is way above what it should be in terms of mid price or the recommended price. And again, I'm just going to... Oh go into the exchange and buy another seed this time I'm going to be looking at uh, this is where I was looking for the name of the vine seed and it's called a grapevine seed that's it so these are ones for the wine um, now I initially tried to buy it a lot over mid and it didn't buy so I kind of thought screw it I'll just shell out as I said and pay for it and then I can make this for you guys and show you what's going on uh, but unfortunately I forgot that I need four now with this seed, it's worth noting that you need a construction level because you need to build, within the hops patch, you need to build uh, basically a sort of a vine trellis. Uh, to do that, you need a certain amount of oak planks and nails. Now I can't for definite tell you how many that is right now, um, but I'm sure it'll show you in the video. So you need a load of oak planks, as I'm getting out, Oh, well, not quite that many. <laughs> and uh, some nails of some description because you need to build the trellis for it. And as I said, I believe the, far, the construction requirement to make this trellis to then be able to plant the grapevine seed is 70 odd. Well, not odd, 70 just in general. Um, so, yeah, if you're hoping to do this, I wouldn't until you've got the construction level. And certainly at the moment... Um, I wouldn't be trying to plant these seeds because they are horrendously expensive. They're just under 100k each, which is uh, quite a lot of money for a seed, especially when you're talking 400k. Now, I don't know what actually being able to produce these grapes is going to yield in terms of profit. Now, I can't tell you until I've grown them, obviously, and then found out. But it might be that for some reason Super Zamorok wines or you know, what are the uh, Guthics and the other wines that you can make and then turn them into the super equivalents, uh, for some reason go astronomically priced. I can't see that happening, if I'm honest. So I can't see that this is going to be uh, 
hugely profitable for a little while yet. As I said, with all the other new seeds, for the first few days, week, while everyone's running around trying to do it, it's going to be very expensive. Um, so my advice would be to kind of stick away from from using them, really. Um, what I'm doing now in the background is running to a hops patch, or at least I thought I was. Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing that I have 99 farming uh, and I've never actually used a hops patch, so I couldn't remember where any of them were. Oh, yeah, and I loaded the map and realised it was on the other side of the river after looking around, uh, just being a bit of a fail in general. So you can all have a good old laugh at me uh, and comment below. Miles is a noob or something unpleasant like that because I am uh, then I found the farming patch there we go <laughs> keen eyes uh, and have a little bit of a run fest now trying to get round to the other side only to discover that I need to go and buy three more seeds so this is kind of a bit of a fail on my part I suppose I probably should have taken it out of the video but I thought you kind of might enjoy me uh, being a bit of an idiot I suppose uh, <laughs> and my knowledge of farming given as I say that I have 99 farming quite clearly isn't as uh, concrete as I thought but I'm not really sure why anybody would use hops patches um, as I say when I did 99 farming I don't remember ever reading or coming to the conclusion that that doing um, that doing hops patches was a good idea as you can see in the background there I've just run past a white berry bush as I said in my previous video I would definitely advise doing those uh, because they can make you quite a bit of money uh, you can get four or so every so many hours from each patch, and they're really quick to teleport to. So here we are at the hops patch, and I instantly realise that I'm not going to have enough seeds by any stretch of the imagination. But I have got my planks, so I tried to use my planks, and that failed. <laughs> I think you need to use the planks on the space immediately in front of you. And there you can see that it took six uh, planks to make, and I don't know how many nails. Um, and you can see when I try and use my seed on the area, you need four grapevine seeds to grow those. So back to the drawing board, and I think, okay, better go back to the G, buy some more. Off we pop. Grand exchange. Ring of wealth. Do your trick. Or not. <laughs> there we go. Off to the G now. I'm just going to go and buy the other three seeds. There we go, into the Grand Exchange. You can see how much I pay them, pay for them again. Uh, it's it's a ridiculous amount of money, really, for, for some seeds. Bag of 100k per seed. And I paid, yeah, 296k for three seeds. So that's, um, that's, that's quite a lot, <laughs> let's be honest. So... As I say, my advice at the moment would really be to not bother doing these grapevines unless you have an awful lot of money and uh, are particularly inquisitive about how these are all going to grow. But for now, I just I can't see them being a particularly good idea um, until the prices come down a lot. <clears throat> so I teleported to Varrock Lodestone this time and ran south down to the hops patch. Um, which is on the yeah the closest lodestone it would be to go from from Varrock and run south, or you suppose you could go to Lumbridge Lodestone and go to this hops patch. There are other hops patches around the place. I think there are four from memory around the world. This is kind of the easiest to get to. So I make a bit of a fail and I forgot to use some super compost, um, which which is a bit of a shame. But you do need to water these. So pop the grapevine seeds in. There's 394k in a <laughs> farming patch. And then I think, well, having not used super compost, I probably ought to pay the farmer, really, to look after them. And he wants 15 Crandorian hops. Uh, so I think, OK, well, I better go to the Grand Exchange for the 79th time in this video and go and get me some whatever the word I just pronounced was hops. And yes, so off I went to the Grand Exchange, got my 15 Crandarian hops for, uh, again, an astronomically high price. Uh, went back and paid the farmer, so 
in my next video I'll do again on this uh, Her Harvest Heaven update, I'll show you uh, the animation and the results of those. Hopefully we can figure out whether they're actually worth doing yet. But as I say, I would be very careful with buying any of these seeds at the moment because you are going to be paying well over the odds uh, and all of the farmer payments are going to be very, very expensive because people have bought them out and uh, merged them on. So unless you can get the seeds from yourself, uh, for yourself, not from yourself, uh, get the seeds for yourself and use them that way, uh, my advice would be to stay away from the GE for a little while. Uh, but in general, I think this update is going to be quite good. It's nice to see some really high-level uh, farming content come into the game for the patches that were pretty much redundant, especially when I did farming to 99. So that's really nice to see. Going to be interested to see kind of what people think of the XP that you can gain uh, with, you know, secondary XP. For instance, you saw in the video there that I got some thieving and some strength XP. The one I really wanted to get grown that failed actually was the plant that gives you agility um, XP, and that hopefully is going to be a really good thing. Um, because I don't like training agility. So, yeah, I'd be quite interested if anybody wants to comment below and tell me what you think about this update. I kind of like it. I think it's about time they brought in some, some high-level farming content. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel and everyone's going to feel about, again, possibly getting cheap XP on the side. But then we've had barbarian fishing, barbarian fishing? Barbarian fishing in the game for quite a while now, and... That obviously grants strength and agility. So, yeah, perhaps we uh, all need to have an open mind. I don't know. But as I say, I'd be interested to hear from people. So if you've got the time, please do comment. Tell me what you think. And as ever, thanks for watching.